Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today we are going to be comparing all of the UK special editions of Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. Today we are going to be talking about the four different, I think that there's only four UK special editions of Empire of the Vampire. Please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought I had them all. You guys know Nevernight is one of my favourite series ever, and I do know that this is a little bit extra, and I also know that I don't need four editions of this book, but I'm not really much of a book collector unless it comes to authors that I really like, so I do collect multiple editions of J. Kristoff and Sarah J. Maas. So um, the first two I have already opened. This one is the Waterstone Special Edition and this one is the Forbidden Planet Special Edition. These ones arrived close to the release date. And then the two others I have that I'm going to be unboxing for you guys in this video that I haven't seen are the Goldsboro Books Special Edition and the September Illumicrate, which has Empire of the Vampire as its book of the month. I'm very excited for the Illumicrate one well, more excited than I am for any of the others because when I bought this I already knew what it looked like and I have no idea what the Illumicrate one looks like. So if you guys don't know what Empire of the Vampire is about, I don't either. I believe that it is an adult grimdark fantasy. I am expecting it to be pretty similar in tone to Nevernight which is another adult grimdark fantasy and this one is about vampires. It is set in a world where the sun went down and didn't rise one day, about 30 years in the past of the present timeline of this book, and the vampires have been trying to eradicate humanity or like fight off humanity to rule the world essentially and we are following our main character who is called Gabriel de Leon who is the last remaining silver saint and these are a holy order of people who are tasked with fighting back against the monsters of the night. However Gabriel has been captured and he is telling his story. I'm really excited to read this, 100% going to be getting this on my October TBR. There are some books that I need to read immediately after they are released and there are some books that I put off because I know that I'm going to love it and I don't want to read read it because you can only read a book for the first time once you know so I, I like to save at the moment when I finally pick this book up but this one is the copy that I am going to be reading I did not pick up a standard edition of this at all so this one is the Waterstones edition it has black sprayed edges this is the standard cover for the UK with the standard colouring. Plain red end pages I don't think we have anything exciting under oh we have the crest under the dust jacket and it is also signed by Jay Kristoff but I don't think that is going to be an anomaly because I'm pretty sure every pre-ordered copy is signed so I fully expect all of these special editions to be signed and I don't think there's any bonus content in here. This is risky flicking to the back to look for bonus content. No but we do have a map. There's a map at the back and a map at the front. So the Forbidden Planet special edition is pretty similar. It is blue instead of red. We don't have any sprayed edges on this one sadly. The end pages are blue instead of red and we also, do we once again have the signature? Yes we do although I'm pretty sure if we compare it to this one they have different title pages which is actually common with J. Kristoff books. So this one is the Waterstones edition and this one is the Forbidden Planet. I have two editions, two UK standard first printing editions of Dark Dawn and both of those have different title pages as well so it is interesting that that is still a thing and underneath here we have the same crest as on the Waterstones one it is the De Leon family crest I'm assuming and this one it did come with a special A5 print of the De Leon house sigil as well. So cracking open the Goldsboro edition, which I am expecting to be very fancy. Goldsboro, in case you guys don't know, are a UK base. I think they're just like a bookshop that specialise in special editions. I have actually just finally managed to get into their adult sci-fi and fantasy monthly book subscription as well. So you can expect me to be hauling some more Goldsboro editions in the future and taking a look at their special editions. All of their special edition books I believe are signed and numbered. I'm excited. The thing I'm most excited about in this is to see what number I've got. I love how much bubble wrap Goldsboro use. One because it keeps the book safe and two because um, as somebody with a small business I reuse all the bubble wrap I get. But this one is beautiful. Look at that. Something else I really love about all Goldsboro books is that they come with a 
protective plasticky jacket over to protect the dust cover on the book but as you can see this one is once again the uk design but it is entirely silver it's actually so much more stunning than it looked on the photo as well because we have a lot of depth and shading in here where it looked kind of flat and silver on the pictures that i've seen from when it went on sale we also have on here oh we have an alternate sigil on this one this one has the chastain family sigil which which is really cool and oh there's something on the back as well this says the wolf frets not for the ills of the worm now i have to look at the backs of these ones and see if these have anything nope naked and yeah naked so this is something that is exclusive to the forbidden planet edition we also have as you guys can see purple sprayed edges on this one purple end pages and which signature page do we have on this this one's different again this one has the chastain her sigil on it but it is signed and what number do i have did i just completely miss that page 364 not bad pretty low number or is it 369 i can't actually tell but it's in the 300s anyway and i think there was 2000 copies of these available so that's not half bad yep no extra bonus deleted chapter in this one either and now finally we have the september lumicrate i believe that the theme of this one is is it to whatever end and they revealed as soon as they revealed the theme that it was going to be empire so for sure empire of the vampire is in this box oh it's to the to the bitter end here are the spoilers in case you guys would like to pause and have a look at those but i'm going to be going into this blind the theme for october is revenge is sweeter which is for fans of kingdom of the wicked which is steeped in gold the song of achilles black sun and caraval and it has the next rosy thorn mug in the october yeah october box as well so taking the package now this is man and blackbeak who is one of my favorite characters ever from throne of glass oh my god i am obsessed with my queen the artwork is by winter of her discontent it's stunning i really like that i've seen the book the book is i'm devastated <laughs> they normally come in a yellow bag and this does not come in a yellow bag and it was right under the pouch so like i've already seen it i know what color it is but let's just crack on with everything else and i'll try not to look again this is a collar pin set that is inspired by these violet delights by chloe gong which is really pretty and it is designed by november and may we also have another set of the lumicrate magnets in here is this one? Oh, i got really excited i thought it was inspired by red rising it's actually inspired by an ember in the ashes which is a series that i did enjoy but um i got really excited for a second thinking it was red rising which is a series that is now one of my favorite series of all time but still pretty cool i put these on my um reading cart which is what i do with all of my bookish magnets really we also have this feels like a letter opener oh is this like a replica actually it looks like it might be percy jackson yes it is a sword replica of percy jackson's sword which i haven't read percy jackson but the spoiler card says that it's called riptide it has um a good weight to this as well what else do we have in here do we just have two more items yes oh so the first ones are shoe charms from blissfully bookish which are inspired by strange the dreamer and the last thing we have is the pin of the month in every illumicrate box as like a bonus item you get a monthly collectible pin usually inspired by the book of the month and this month is of course inspired by empire of the vampire and the little quote on here says may the dark know your name and despair so in terms of the items for this month you don't get a whole ton but there is obviously a weight limit on boxes because of shipping and the empire of the vampire edition is like it's quite a hefty book so these are the items they're all quite small flat items this month but we're all here for the book you think if you subscribe to the september box you are here for the book so let's have a look it's just wrapped in bubble wrap so i've seen that it's white oh it's white and gold that's cool and let's oh it's got stenciled edges oh it's stunning i'm glad that this is not my reading copy because i couldn't mm, i can't read a white book not without getting it all smudgy but this oh my god is the illumicrate edition of empire of the vampire it is stunning i love the gold detailing on here that is beautiful we also have in here a letter from the author on 
the back of this art print and the oh wow these are really really beautiful spread edges look at those they are amazing Illumina Creative definitely have done themselves with the edging on this and the spine is actually solid gold I thought it would be white and gold but that is this my favorite edition <laughs> It might be my favorite edition. The end pages in this one have the signature on instead of the title page. And the title page on this one is a different house sigil, which is house boss, which leads me to believe that um, the under dust jacket is going to have it as well. Yes. We have House Voss on this one. And a quote on the back of this one as well, actually. This one says, all shall kneel. It's kind of a shame, actually, that the Waterstones and Forbidden Planet don't have the quote on the back, seen as the Illumicrate, like the alternate house editions, do have the quote on the back. Let's stack them all up. I do really, really love the spine on the Illumicrate edition of this, but I will say that it is really glaringly <laughs> like it's because I was like a sore thumb in the stack of all of the editions. But in terms of the editions and like if you're going to try, like all of these are sold out. But if you're going to try and get your hands on any of these second hand, they're going to be ridiculously expensive. But I would say that these two are pretty standard. There's nothing overly special about them. They are signed. And I like that they're different colorways. This one's pretty much just a standard with spread edges essentially. And these two are the special ones. Now in terms of design, I definitely prefer the white aluminum create one and we have the gorgeous stencil in on here so i would say personal preference wise my favorite of the empire of the vampire editions is the illumicrate one and i completely forgot to say as well wow if you would like to subscribe to illumicrate i am a rep for illumicrate they sent me this box to unbox for you guys the rest of them i paid for this was part of my rep package but if you guys would like to sign up to illumicrate and get a three or six month subscription for yourself i do have a code my code is becca5 and that will get you a five percent discount on that three or six month subscription i just got to excited by the additions. So um, yeah, I would say that if you are trying to get your hands on one of these, then Empire of the Vampire is the ultimate one to collect. But this one is just a little bit more special just because it's signed and numbered. And I think that this is actually the rarest of the additions as well because there's only 2,000 copies. And I imagine that Illumicrate have more than 2,000 monthly subscribers. So now we sit, we pray, and we hope that I actually love the book. But um, yeah, my favorite, I normally do with my unboxings, I do want my favorite item from the month's boxes. 100% the book in this case the items this month were nothing overly special like a nice selection but nothing amazing in comparison to what lumicrit normally do in their boxes but i think it was definitely intended that the feature of this box would be the book so those are all of the uk special editions of empire of the vampire please let me know down in the comments without any spoilers if you have read empire yet and whether you have enjoyed it and also let me know which one of these editions is your favorite once again a big thank you to lumicrit for sending me this box to open for you guys if you head into my description box you'll find a link to Illumicrate's website all of their social media and my discount code as well if you'd like to get your hands on your very own Illumicrate subscription and aside from that guys please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna if you head into my description box you'll find a link to my goodreads instagram twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish candle website the instagram for that and the etsy and a 10% off discount code but that's it for me today guys bye Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate You say you're a go when nobody knows With guns sitting under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no